done. Let the world know too hot for you. I'm not about to lose. I'm the greatest. As we're off the heels of not only the Great American Bash, but also Night of Champions, welcoming everyone live in Orlando, Florida, for Monday Night Raw. Coming off the heels of the Great American Bash, represented from the Raw brand, tonight we have a lot going forward, heading towards Survivor Series. As we kick the nut off, with the raw general manager, the Sheriff's in town. The Heartbreak Kid. WWE Hall of Famer making his way down the aisle. No doubt Shawn Michaels has been winning for this time period ever since ECW's one night stand when The Rock dropped the bombshell of SmackDown returning with the brand split coming back into full effect and also with CM Punk and The Rock restoring the feeling by dropping Shawn Michaels in Philly leading to Shawn Michaels taking on CM Punk one on one then Beth Phoenix was introduced as SmackDown Shadow Manager and then she planted Molly Holly with the Glam Slam at Clash at the Castle. Settles. Welcome Old scores will be settled. To Monday Night Raw as we are live in Orlando, Florida. The place where NXT resides for the younger talent to train and get better each day to become the future of the WWE. And speaking of the future, Survivor Series War Games. Coming up very shortly in Vancouver. A match where only four men and four women have to be on the same page in order to survive and claim victory. Myself and Molly Holly have never been in this kind of match, but neither has The Rock and Beth Phoenix. That's a good point. But that does allow me to craft a team that would have knowledge on the match and come up with a game plan to prove that the red brand is the top brand of all WWE. With that being said, I am here to name my team for the men's war games match. First, it will be the returned United States champion. He is a visionary, a revolutionary. Oh, wait a minute. Seth freaking Rollins. Seth Rollins, the first pick, the now United Next States champion. Man who's been on a roll as of late. He is the underdog from the underground, a Grand Slam champion, Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn! I had my eye on this next choice. He's been reigning as NXT champion, and I'm sure that he's still looking to do it on his own, and represented NXT very well. Main event, Jay Uso. What a team by Shawn Michaels. Interesting picks, to say the least. Shawn Michaels, along with Seth Rollins, the now United States champion, Sami Zayn who's been on the roll as of late and now Jey Uso main event Jey Uso coming off a win at the Great American Bash defeating Jimmy Uso letting it be known that he has nothing to do with the bloodline that he's on his own that it's all him Us, if you will Uso chance for Jey Uso Hey, 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 look, I appreciate that, GM, I really do. But I need you to grant me something. I need this favor for tonight. Jey Uso wants a, a favor. Sure, Jay, what can I do for you? Give me Roman Reigns tonight. As Roman as Reigns? It, if the world title was on the line. But it's more than that. After I denied Jimmy of me ever joining back up with the bloodline, Solo tried to interfere. But in the end, I came through. Me fighting Roman tonight will let him know that I am done with the bloodline completely. Wow. All right, Jay, I see what you mean. In fact, 
All three of you will compete for the next three episodes of Raw, heading into Survivor Series. Win or lose, I want all of you prepared for war games. The end goal is to beat SmackDown. You will face Roman Reigns in our main event tonight. There it is. We got a main event tonight. Chey Uso wants to get his hands on Roman Reigns, I'm sure. He believes that Roman's behind Solo Sokoa getting involved with his match with Jimmy Uso at the Great American Bash. But nonetheless, Jay Roman Reigns official here tonight. Jay, Sammy, and Seth all a part of Raw's War Games at Survivor Series. Look at this. Look at this team. Shawn Michaels, the United States Champion, Seth Rollins, Sami Zayn, and Jey Uso against The Rock and three of his members of SmackDown's team at Survivor Series War Games in Brand Warfare. Oh, oh my God. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we get to the action here live on Raw in Orlando. First match of the night featuring this man, the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. McIntyre ready for war here tonight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds. The Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre! Drew McIntyre, a man who made a claim that he wants to be the World Heavyweight Champion, wants to chase after the title. But sadly, over the last couple of weeks, or the last couple of episodes on Raw, it things have not been going McIntyre's way, especially losing at the Clash of the Castles, premium love event where he, co he competed against Roman Reigns for the world title and he came up short so tonight a big test for him as much as and it is for this man from Black Forest South Australia weighing in at 330 pounds Bronson Reed big Bronson Reed making his way down the aisle a man that was a part of the triple threat match for the international title at the Great American Bash was luckily the one that didn't get pinned or submitted in the match. Rollins, he pinned Gunther for that opportunity. So now, Bronson Reed, I guess maybe at the, at the, the beginning again. Maybe Bronson Reed at the drawing board. They get to, they get to regroup and Get back into the thick of things, maybe get back into the title hunt, maybe go after the now United States title, or maybe go up a bit further like McIntyre is, trying to go for the world title. And right off the gate, drop to a hole takedown by Bronson Reed to begin this match after McIntyre trying to rush after him. And then Reed, oh! Displaying his own levels of strength, able to lift up McIntyre to toss him two handed choke as well. But now McIntyre got him. Irish flip into the corner. Big boot right to the face. Good grief. Almost like a damn Haluba kick of Sami Zayn, if you will. Oof. Big stomp right to the side of the head. And now Drew McIntyre up top. Things are not looking to look good. Oh, for Bronson Reed. Big close off the top, but look at Reed, able to catch him off guard with the kick, able to take an opportunity, or take advantage of an opportunity there. Bill in the back, driver onto the floor. Not looking good if you're McIntyre right now. And a Bronson Reed, dropping the elbow to the back of the neck. Holy hell. Again, Bronson Reed, they're gonna try to build momentum. Whether it's for a championship or maybe gearing up for a Survivor Series in some capacity. 
Look at this. Sprumps and reap. Cover. Is it enough? No. And now. Oh! Seated senton onto McIntyre's lower abdomen. No doubt trying to knock the wind out of the sails of McIntyre. And now it's just applying pressure. I. Oh! Because McIntyre is on defense at this point. And his defense is not working out. As Brunson Reed. Dead Valley driver. The Colossus. Oh. I was going to say the Colossus not looking to uh, show any mercy. For McIntyre, but McIntyre able to slip away and counter. And now look at the strength of McIntyre. Air raid crash. Over 300 pounds planted. Get him in back in the ring. But now what? Goes for the cover. Is it enough? The air raid crash. How much time has been wasted? Showed up at one. McIntyre thinking. Oh, just tossed him with a suplex. And now just came it in the chest of Bronson Reed. Trying to go for a kick. Nope, couldn't get it. And now Reed got him with him. No, no. McIntyre lands on his feet. Chop block. And now McIntyre sent him off the ropes. Cut him with an elbow. Could McIntyre be gearing up to, to maybe setting him, setting up Bronson Reed for the, the Claymore kick. Ooh. Nice counter there by Reed, a kick to the gut. Got him up, Samoan drop. Samoan drop there by Reed. And now, oh no, better than back driver once more. Oh no, Reed sees the opportunity. McIntyre's in the drop zone. Oh, the tsunami. Planted it. Little press. No, McIntyre kick out of two. Reed cannot kick that. Kick. Reed cannot believe that McIntyre kicked out of the tsunami. Shows the grit, the termination of McIntyre. It's a move, it's hard to kick out of. Oh, McIntyre! Neckbreaker able to plant him. But how much more does McIntyre have left? Reed got him up now. Bad attention off the ropes. Reed looking to finish the job now. Oh, wait a minute. Oh no, 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 oh my God. Brunson Reed gets the win. Planted McIntyre on his head. That's how he beat The Rock at WrestleMania. Brunson Reed gonna show a little bit of sportsmanship. And McIntyre not going for it. McIntyre rejecting the sportsmanship after a great match with Bronson Reed. What's that about? Holy well. We're still alive, ladies and gentlemen. Backstage she Jey Uso. Seems to be going to the parking lot. Maybe to maybe to get his ring gear. He will be an out. Oh, what, 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 what the what the hell? Who the, what the that's Miz! Miz threw that freaking stop sign! And up Jey Uso, we're gonna make him pay for it. Oh wait, Miz, no! Oh, skull crushed the finale under the pavement. I don't know what was that. I don't know what was that for, but the Miz just attacked Jey Uso. Holy.
Hopefully there'll be more on that, but not, what the? No, we got this. What's going on in the ring? Let's break it down here. Chelsea Green and Piper Niven was set for this tag team match against Gigi Dolan and Shotzi Blackheart, but holy, this thing just broke down and got ugly real quick. Don't be able to get things into control. Oh! Who knows what they're fighting for, but maybe they're just fighting for position for the tag team title opportunity. After Katana Chance and Kaden Carter lost their opportunity at the tag goal at, at the Great American Bash when Damage Control retained the tag team championship. And again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure there'll be an update regarding Jey Uso's condition and whether he'll be able to compete against Roman Reigns in our main event in a non-title matchup. Oh no. Piper and Nimit! Oh! Got him! Mighty bonsai drop. Shades of Yokozuna goes for the cover. Is it enough? On the Shotzi! Shotzi would stand the pain. Able to kick at one. Tag now. Again, that little scuffle we saw at the beginning of the, beginning of the match. Could be a, a way of just chalking for position. Both women, both women want to show case their their own abilities want to showcase that they're the best of the tag team division here on raw that they deserve the next opportunity at the tag team gold following survivor series oh wait oh neck breaker there by shotty big kick to the spine of niven can't believe the miz just jumped it from behind like that. Well, I mean, not really from behind, but through the stop sign. That Jey Uso like that. Shot to with a submission on the night onto Piper Niven. But Niven escapes out of the hole. It's very early to put a submission on the on the woman like Piper Niven who can easily get out the hold. And now an Irish whip. And now, oh, wrecking ball drop kick. And now a tag. Here comes Dolan, the former WWE Women's Champion. Caught in the grasp of Niven momentarily until Gigi got the able to get out the grasp. But now she even, deli she even delivered a knee, and that didn't do anything. It's it barely grazed her. And now Chelsea Green with a double axe handle from the top. Obviously, Green and Piper Niven want to become tag team champions. Just like Gigi Dolan and Shotzi were at one point. They were the tag team champions winning it back at Elimination Chamber last season. That was when Gigi Dolan went on a, a run of a lifetime. Went on to win the tag team gold on the same night. Won the Elimination Chamber. Went on to win the WWE Women's title. It's insane. A hell of a run. And now Chelsea Green. Looking to have a run of her own. Drop to a hold. Takes down Dolan. This tag team match. Just back and forth. You can never know who's going to have the momentum. But it seems Chelsea Green have things well in hand here. As Chelsea Green got Gigi Dolan in a compromising position. Chelsea Green as she goes for the cover. This match will continue on. As Gigi kicks out, we'll be back live. Two rings, one steel cage. Live in Vancouver, BC, Canada for WWE Survivor Series War Games in the Rogers Arena where Raw vs. SmackDown will compete in Brand Warfare. Two War Games matches and a Champion vs. Champion matches will take place at Survivor Series Best 2 out of 3. Also, there will be two World Championship matches taking place at this year's Survivor Series. As they're back live on Monday Night Raw, see Shotzi Blackheart taking care of business there with Chelsea Green. 
Tim there. Hang her up. Hang her out to dry. Oh! Hang her out to dry with her legs moments ago. And now planted her down on the outside. And now they're going to take care of Piper Niven in the process. But Piper Niven making her pay. And now, oh! Shot to try to charge up the Niven, but caught her with a knee. And again, Niven caught her with a knee. And now Chelsea back in the fray. Got in the corner, but an elbow. Shotzi's a fighter. She continues to fight. Refuses to give up here. Iris Swift got in the corner. Oh, but decides to go to make a tag instead. Smart. Smart move by Shotzi. Did not make a tag throughout the whole commercial break. And now was able to make a tag. Here comes Gigi. And oh, what a double team there by Niven and Chelsea Green. Gigi wanted a shot on Niven. Niven made her pay. And then Chelsea caught her with a close line from behind. And now they're going to plant her. Michinoku driver. Is that enough? Shotzi says otherwise. And now look at Piper. Oh, she wanted to deal with. She wanted to deal with. Shotzi. But Gigi right there. Crucifix Bob. But Chelsea right there to make the save. Holy. Now a tag made. Shotzi's in the front. And now what's Shotzi taking? Head scissors takedown. Is that enough to put away Piper Niven? Head scissors by Shotzi. Got the ropes, but Sally, the referee, didn't see it. Oh my god, after what we just saw there, no doubt about it, the brawl we saw at the beginning of the match might be the, the beginning of what we just witnessed. Where Shotzi got the win, but Sally Niven had her hand on the road so the referee didn't see it. Oh man. But I guess referee's this decision is final. Dolan and Shotzi for the win. Last weekend at the Great American Bash, myself and Roman Reigns went toe-to-toe -to -toe in a bloody battle over the World Heavyweight Championship, and I hate to admit, the better man won, but on that night, on a different night, I see things going the megastar's way. Uh-oh. It was a hell of a match, but you did acknowledge one thing right. The better man did win, and on any other night, you or anybody else, the results will remain the same. These two had a hell of a match at the Great American Bash. But now it seems that the World Heavyweight Champion has something to say. He just addressed LA Knight. LA Knight, honestly, giving Roman Reigns his due. Saying how it was a great match between myself and Roman Reigns, said LA Knight. But in the end, the next time, LA Knight sees things going his way. But obviously, Roman Reigns believes that the results will remain the same. I mean, that's how it's been for Roman all year. I mean, Roman Reigns was close on winning the Rumble. But he got eliminated, I believe, by Malachi Black at the time. Then, went on to WrestleMania. And that's when he claimed the world title. Won the world title in the four-way. Defeated Finn Balor at Payback. Defeated Rob Van Dam at one nice stand. And then defeated LA Knight at the Great American Bash. But now it seems a new challenger has stepped up to Roman Reigns. Oh, wait a minute. And this is the challenger I was speaking of. Here comes 
Great General! Last season's King of the Ring winner! Former WWE Champion, Gunther. A former international champion as well. Gunther, a man, a man who seeks nothing but glory, but he seeks it in a powerful way, in a way where he commands respect. That ring is sacred to him. And for Gunther to come out and interrupt Roman Reigns before the man even had a chance to even say anything is 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 mind-boggling. You shut your mouth. No one wants to hear what you have to say. Oh my God! I'm out here to make it short and simple. The reason why I came out after you won your match is because I wanted it to be known to everyone that I am next in line. I am your inevitable end. Come Survivor Series. Wow. That international title was a waste of my time. I know I can beat you. Gunther's fired I've up here. Noticed as well that your wise men went away for a bit, so it seems that your bloodline isn't as strong as it used to be. My don't lord. Worry. You won't have to worry about your wise man. You don't have to worry about Jay either. And after Survivor Series, you will never have to worry about being the heavyweight champion of the world again. Nah, the switch up was crazy. From berating Roman Reigns in a very loud manner to then in cool, chilling words. Saying you don't have to worry about Jay, you don't have to worry about the wise man. And after Survivor Series, you'll never have to worry about being the world champion again. Gunther letting it be known that he is the end to Roman Reigns' world title reign come Survivor Series in Vancouver, BC for the World Heavyweight title. For the first time, these two will meet. Gunther, Roman Reigns. Oh, my. And they're back live for Monday Night Raw. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois, Cora Jade! And they're back live on Raw here in Orlando, Florida. Again, the home of NXT superstars. Again, working out in the Performance Center. Able to cut their teeth and uh, grind and obviously try to craft what they want to be known for down the line becoming mega superstars something that obviously our predecessors before us didn't have and someone like Cora Jade has taken full advantage of that as of late she's got massive wins here on Raw and looking to seek after another oh my goodness former NXT Women's Champion returns home The Power Princess and representing the Kabuki Warriors from Yamaguchi, Japan. Kyrie Sane. Not only the Kabuki Warriors, but also representing Damage Control in Kyrie Sane. Oh my goodness! We have not seen Kyrie Sane in Universe Mode. I believe, I believe, in about two seasons. And now Kyrie Sane is back, looking to do uh, looking to do battle with Cora Jade one on one here tonight. Not to mention, ladies and gentlemen, we're still to come. We have Gunther one on one with Rey Mysterio one -on here tonight, and then we have our main event, Jey Uso, which I got word that Jey Uso is fine despite getting attacked by Miz earlier. Jey Uso is good to go to compete against Roman Reigns later tonight. So we're able to kill all doubt regarding our main event. We still got that intact here tonight. 
Not to mention what we saw with Gunther and Roman Reigns moments ago. Gunther making an emphatic statement towards the champion. And these two are going to make an emphatic statement. At, but at one at once expense though. As Kyrie able to chop her down with the edge of her hand and now got her out of the corner. And now they get that springboard. Oh, into a moonsault. Bottom rope moonsault as well by Kyrie. And now Kyrie going up top. She went over to Japan. No doubt might have learned or may have developed some things over there as well. And now they're going to bring it over here on WWE television. Look at that. Two double foot stops. Goes for the cover. Bakora kicked out. Another, another foot stop there by Saint. This is the woman that's beaten those. Trust me, if I mention the names, you won't believe me. Kyrie Cena has beaten the likes of Sasha Banks, beaten the likes of Bianca Belair for the NXT Women's title. Have done battles, have won tag team titles with Asuka. Former tag team champion with Asuka as well. No doubt the credentials of Kyrie Sane cannot be undermined. Which could spell doom for Cora Jade here. Who's within her rookie, I would say rookie year or two. Cora Jade now they're gonna go for it. Got it with a, I believe a Black Widow armbar submission, but able to get out the hole to Kyrie. And now, ooh, form shots delivered there by Cora. Despite that Cora has the height advantage over Cora, uh, Kyrie Sane, Sane able to take her down with a blockbuster. Now goes for the cover, form in the face, drops a pot in position for the kick at one. That's a great action here tonight live on Raw. Again, Shawn Michaels able to draw the the battle lines if you will regarding survivor series naming the participants for raw for raw for raw's team in war games Seth Rollins Sami Zayn and Jey Uso which Shawn Michaels have mentioned that the next couple of weeks we're going to see all three superstars in action. And, oh! Can't wait to see how that's gonna fare. Elbow to the gut there by, by Kyrie Sane. And now, oh! Scoop and a slam, but what's she thinking now? Is she thinking insane in the membrane? Insane elbow, yes! Able to connect. But may it take you too much time to get to the cover. Oh, and a shoulder up at two at the very last moment. That might have cost Kyrie Sane there. The impact of the elbow might have cost Kyrie there. Because when she landed, it took her a while to get used of the pain of the elbow drop. Then she went for the pin. Allowing Cora G to obviously get used to the pain of receiving the elbow drop and then was able to kick out at two. It's all about endurance when it comes to wrestling matches. The little, the little chance you have to breathe is all you need to get a little momentum back in the game. And that's what it seems in Cole Jane's eyes. She saw that one opportunity and taking advantage of it. Standing, slice bread, planning. Kyrie Sane trying to send her to the steps. I think Kyrie able to catch herself. As Cora Chase back in the ring. Kyrie Sane's first match back here in the WWE in about two seasons. 
And again, Cora J giving her a run for her money here tonight. Kicked out of the insane elbow. What else can you do if you're Kyrie Singh? Goes for the cover. Referee way out of position. Got a two count and barely got the shoulder up to Cora. Big kick right to the knee. And now, what's Kyrie thinking? Oh my, never mind. Just knocked her off her perch, and now, Kyrie up top, flight form. Maybe the insane form, if you will. And, ooh. Oh my god! What a boot! Sending Kyrie onto the barricade. And now Korachek face first. Oh! The little separation was able to land in the spear. And now look at this! The anchor submission hold! Got on the anchor! Tapping out as Cora Jade, but didn't matter. It didn't matter because you got to do it in the ring. But Kyrie sends Cora back inside the ring. Has the damage been done up the, the anchor submission? We saw her tap out. Is she physically done? Yes, she is. Cora J tapping out was not a was not a symbol. It was a fact. Oh my god! That was a war! That was a battle! Between two young stars going at it. But Kyrie seeing a former champion, a veteran, able to get the job done here tonight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the action is not stopped because coming up next, the ring general Gunther will go one on one with Rey Mysterio. Can Gunther build momentum and head towards Survivor Series? Back live on Monday Night Raw here in Orlando, Florida. Getting ready for a one on one action. The Ring General. We saw earlier tonight berating Roman Reigns, letting it be known that he can beat Roman Reigns. That he sees through Roman Reigns. He sees through the facade. He sees through the tribal chief, the bloodline, the. All of that. Gunther sees through all of that and you can see that Roman is a man that can be beaten. And he's looking to exploit that come Survivor Series. But here comes Rey Mysterio, WWE Hall of Famer, getting ready to do action. They're getting ready to do battle with Gunther once again. Not the first time that they met. They met before on Raw many months ago. And sadly, Gunther was the one that came out on top if you're a Rey Mysterio fan. But nonetheless, Rey Mysterio's another shot at redemption, another chance to beat him here tonight. A chance to showcase the LWO, what they're all about. And speaking of the L L W, speaking of the LWO, I got word that there'll be an action next week on Raw in a unique matchup that will be explained later after this matchup. But here we go, Gunther, Rey Mysterio, one on one with Imperium members at ringside and no one for Ray at ringside. This could spell doom for Ray, but at the same time, this is Ray Mysterio we're talking about. WWE Hall of Famer. A man who's fought giants. A man who survived the great Kali vice grip. Like that, that move, no doubt, has done wonders to children's nightmares. No doubt about it. But yet Mysterio is able to seek through it all. So no doubt having Kaiser and Vinci at ringside may not be a factor for Ray. But then again, 
He's locked in the ring with Gunther. That German suplex. Very effective. No. Oh, wait. Rey Mysterio turning it around. That's the thing about Rey. can always count. You can never count out Rey. As Rey Mysterio got Gunther onto the ropes. Trying to weather, weather the storm here. Trying to make sure that Gunther is in position. As, look at that, drop kick. Mysterio feeling himself right here. And now they're gonna go for another springboard. Oh, they caught it with a bulldog. Gunther played himself. Trying to chase up the Ray one way, but Ray caught him with a bulldog. But Again, a tough battle for Ray. He has to keep on the attack. The second Gunther has a chance to breathe, he will he will be on the attack and he will come at you. And but look at Ray. Sending Gunther flying. Send him to the ropes. 619! And it connects! What's Ray gonna do? Splash connects as well! And in position! Ray for the win! No! Kick out of two by Gunther! Despite good despite Kaiser's attempt at an interference! And you see Vinci there swiping the leg of Ray. Gotta be careful, don't wanna get Gunther disqualified. Gunther's busted open off the 619. No doubt Gunther might be furious right now. Especially coming off the loss of the international title, claiming that it was a waste of his time. Despite that he claimed that the world, that Triple H, or he looked at Triple H giving him the triple threat match as a test as his international championship reign. Ooh. The one chance Gunther had a chance to face humility. It always backfires. Or it's one of those cases you give it a mention, you take a mile, Gunther! Splash off the top, looking to put Ray away. No. With Stanton at two, off the splash. What's Gunther gonna do now? No, that he has bad intentions. Again, attacking that left leg. We all know the history of Ray, and the, and the knee surgeries. Again, when you have surgery as a performer. You're never the same once the procedure's done. Successful or not, it's never the same. But, oh! We're ready to prove that it could be a non-factor. Inverted DDT, but again, Kaiser got Ray Mysterio's head, and Mysterio suffers a drop kick. Oh. Maybe to get out of out of the ropes there. And now Ray Leapfrog. Got good third. Oh! Tilt the world DDT! Spin it! But, oh. Spin it around Gunther like a damn blender, but wasn't able. Wasn't able to keep him down. And got some 619 chance in the crowd. The crowd here in Orlando again behind Rey Mysterio, but Gunther looking to show why he deserves to be the next heavyweight champion of the world. Ray calling for the 619 again. But maybe prematurely. Oh wait! Oh Gunther! Crossface! Got him with the crossface, but Ray got the hold! Ray managed to get up the hold! Springboard! Crossbody! Ray trying to wear him down. Ray might have found an opening. This could be his chance. His one opportunity! And oh, wait a minute. 
before I can even finish the line. You can hear it. You can see Finchy getting in the head of Ray. And now Gunther from behind looking to make him suffer for it. With blood streaming down his face. Gunther with no remorse. Uh oh. Oh no. From the top. Splash! A splash on the Mysterio. And it's Gunther with the win. Gunther can beat you in any shape or form. He could have easily beat him with a power bomb, but he decided to use a splash as an emphatic statement, not only to everyone, but especially to the World Heavyweight Champion. Two rings, one steel cage. Live in Vancouver, BC, Canada for WWE Survivor Series War Games in the Rogers Arena where Raw vs SmackDown will compete in Brand Warfare. Two War Games matches and a Champion vs Champion matches will take place at Survivor Series Best 2 out of 3. Also, there will be two World Championship matches taking place at this year's Survivor Series. Make sure you click the subscribe button and the notification bell where you never miss a video from this channel. Next episode of Raw, you don't want to miss it. The open challenge with the World Tag Team titles will be at stake. The War Raiders will be defending the gold. The question is, who will step up and challenge the War Raiders for the World Tag Team titles on Raw? Also, mixed tag team action will take place. The NXT Women's and Men Champions Braun Breaker and Roxanne Perez will take on the LWL's Lena Vega and Santos Escobar. A mixed unique tag team action will take place next week. Also, Bianca Belair returns to action after suffering a loss at the Great American Bash. Looking to use this matchup to pick herself up and dust herself off as she goes one-on-one -on -one with Liv Morgan. And also regarding Survivor Series, we'll find out who will be a part of the Women's War Games match representing Raw as Molly Holly will be a part of the match along with three other participants. Who will it be? We'll find out all next week on Raw. Live in Orlando, Florida, minimum time in a championship eliminator match. Here comes minimum Jay. Uso, a man who got who got snuck backstage in the parking lot, but he's ready to fight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 242 pounds. Man. Coming off a big win against his brother, Jimmy Uso, at the Great American Bash event. Jay Uso looking to call a shot here tonight. He proved that at the Great American Bash, he's done with the bloodline. And now tonight, looking to prove that maybe he deserves to be World Heavyweight Champion. Maybe looking to prove to Roman Reigns that he's more than just being his right-hand man in the bloodline. Jey Uso, a former NXT champion. Already looking to rise up in the rankings regarding the top spot here on Raw. We saw LA Knight try to go for it when he fought Roman at the Great American Bash. And now we see Jey Uso trying his shot tonight. No Ice Man, no Jimmy, no Solo. It seems that the Tribal Chief looking to do it on his own here tonight. Here comes the world champion. Representing the bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, the world. Heavyweight Champion Roman Reigns! 
Roman Reigns, the top dog here on Raw, the World Heavyweight Champion. Rather not being involved in the brand warfare scenario, if you will, Roman Reigns is more focused on defending the World Heavyweight title because he does have a dark cloud looming on top of his head named Gunther. We have never seen a man that has shut up Roman Reigns in the way that Gunther had. Gunther marched to the ring and told Roman Reigns what he was thinking, how he was feeling, and what the result is going to be come Survivor Series, and walked out the ring unscathed. Was that a sign of what maybe Gunther, maybe what, will he, what he was saying is true regarding Roman Reigns? Maybe can being a man that can be beat, rather being the invincible man that he used to be, can Jey Uso be the one to prove Gunther right here tonight? Only time will tell. This matchup is underway. Gut wrench slam by Roman Reigns. Oof. Now yes, Roman Reigns is the World Heavyweight Champion. Yes, he defended the title successfully over the last couple of months. Defended it successfully against LA Knight at the Great American Bash recently. But again, there may be something different to what Gunther is saying towards Roman Reigns. Jay Uso. Big headbutt and a kick to follow. And now Jay again. Another headbutt to follow. Looking to fight. And now God. Oh! Got Roman up momentarily, or rather Jay was going up and then turned it around into a cross spot. And now, oh! Double leg drop onto the outside by Jay Usa. And now the world champion on the defense, perhaps. Both men on a stalemate. Again, Jay trying to establish that he's trying to be his own man. But Roman Reigns trying to prove why he just why he should be back in the bloodline, but a kick at it one. Kick to the gut, and now look at this cravat. A cravat hold. But oh Jay Uso! Got up the hold, got him up the super kick. Now going up top. Look at the fly! Splash! Goes for the cover! Hook of the leg! Oh, and Roman got it! The, oh, got the shot up at two! But Jay's on phase! Continues to be on the attack! Oh, duck the boot! Duck the boot! Oh, but got caught there! Roman caught him! Fireman's carry locks the one on the top rope. And now Roman Reigns. Got his hands on Jay. Spear. That could be it for Jay. Cover. Hook of the leg. Also kicked out of two. The crowd wants Jay to continue to fight. The crowd does not want this match to end whatsoever. Roman's trying to finish it, but Jay continues to fight. Jay continues to scramble. Jay trying to fire himself up here. Attacking the left knee. And a oos. Got it from behind. Roman lands on his feet. And our Roman Reigns, oh no, four to the back of the neck. Oh. Big kick right to the side of the head and then. Attack to the spine. And now, Oos, where's he going? 
Looking to fly. Is this is this worth it? High risk crossbody. Crossbody lands to pin the world heavyweight champion. Roman kicked out of two again. Oh. But Jay continues to be on the attack. Neckbreaker. Jay seems to be wearing down Roman. It could be a matter of time. We've seen Jay beat Solo. We've seen Jay beat Jimmy. Can he beat the head of the table? And now Roman Reigns looking to turn it around. Samoan drop. Oh, but look at Jay up to his feet. And Roman Reigns! Threw a diversion at Jay. Caught him off guard. Got him with oh, the shot up and toe. I thought he caught him off guard with the spear, but then Jay again would stand to the two. For the love of God, this gotta prove to Roman Reigns that Jay Uso is capable of handling things on his own. That's Roman. Uh oh, Roman. Oh, I haven't. Oh my God, we haven't seen this in a long time. Drive by. Desperate times calls for desperate measures. The drive by, and now Roman Reigns. Uh oh, the spear. And despite being the head of the table, looking to put the final nail in Jay's coffin. Roman Reigns gets the win, stands tall Here tonight. Roman Reigns! Jay was flying high, but maybe too high to the sun. Now, wait a minute. There's Gunther. We saw him getting a win over Rey Mysterio. And now we saw Roman Reigns getting a win over Jay Uso. These two highly competitive stars who will be able to walk away and call themselves world champion after Survivor Series, but we're far from over.